The nominees for Best Performance in a Courtroom Melodrama are Mommy Dearest, a.k.a. Virgie Author, Pool Boy slash I Want to Be the Baby's Father, Howard Stern, and a photographer from Kentucky, Larry Burkhead. And the Oscar goes to... D. All of the above, basically. I mean, all three of these clowns have received reparations, y'all. Coins, things that fold. At the end of the day, people, cash. All in connection with the sudden death of Anna. I mean, the body isn't even cold yet. But it is quickly decomposing. I think I can smell it from here. <laughs> it's about to be called makeup and a closed casket. That's what it's going to be. They keep playing. Okay, there hasn't even been a funeral yet. And we have Howard giving paid interviews to Entertainment Tonight on charter jets. Larry selling archive photos of Anna to salacious websites. And a shameless mother having Splash videotape her and getting a teary-eyed close-up at her grandson's gravesite. Oh, and it gets better, folks. It gets better. Just yesterday on Court TV, right? Virgie wants us to believe that the journalist from Splash that she's been hanging around with so recently is a close friend of the family. They've supposedly been close friends for the past two years. <laughs> well, here at Scandal Can You Handle, that sounds like some old... But you say he just a friend. You say he right. <laughs> I mean, first of all, who is making new friends at 60? And secondly, what is the likelihood of Virgie having a close friend as a journalist? Mm, doesn't really go together, does it? Don't think so. Now, another thing, though, today, I was looking at Court TV today, and the judge just awarded... Um, guardianship of Anna Nicole's dead body to the guardian of Danny Lynn. Not Virgie and not Howard Stern. So basically since Danny Lynn is not 18, she can't make the decision since she's next of kin. She can't make the decision of where Anna Nicole is going to be buried. So her guardian will. I think his name is Mr. Milstein. But we'll be following the story. Moving on though. <laughs> I have a question for y'all. How do you go from being a mother of two boys to checking yourself in and out of rehab in a 24-hour span to shaving your head completely bald? Can you answer that for me? I just want to know, how do you do all that? <laughs> I mean, really, according to TMZ, Brittany was spotted with her bald head at a Sherman Oaks, California tattoo parlor getting a tattoo on her wrist of red lips. <laughs> Who has time for that with two kids? I guess Brittany does. But she needs to take her ass home and raise them children. That's what she needs to do in tattoo parlors. Shows! <laughs> she can keep on doing those shows if she wants to, though. Because K-Fed is lurking, honey. He is lurking. He just asked a judge today for an emergency, cust an emergency hearing on that custody dispute he's having. Don't forget, Kevin um, filed sole custody um, papers last November. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it was in last November, exactly. Last November he filed, he filed sole custody papers and spousal support. Hey, Brittany, slow down, low down. Kevin is about to have custody just as quick as you bolt out of those rehab facilities. You better stop playing, girl. Shaving your head for what? Okay, before I get out of here, y'all, I have some... NBA silver bracelet action for you. <laughs> Indiana Pacers, Jamal Timsley and Marquise Daniels have been indicted on what? Assault charges. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Supposed to be throwing basketballs, not throwing fists, people. ESPN reported yesterday that the two players were in a club in Indiana. <laughs> Here we go again. In a club in Indiana and Got into a scuffle. Now they're being charged with assault charges. Uh, Y'all don't, don't get enough of snatching them boys up from that rucker. <laughs> you know all they know is money, hoes, and glows. And gold chains. 
This is and always will be Scandal. Can you handle? Yeah.